this is the bidet that I received from Amazon. I bought this for $85. Now I'm going to unbox this. Yes, this is the bidet for toilet washing. So you can see from the picture. This is how it has to be connected. That's the uh, mixing valve for hot and cold. I'm going to open this and see what's inside. I hope everything is fine. Yeah, there's the uh, sprayer, the mixing valve, and that's the hot and cold control. This is for the bidet hose, and then this is hose for the hot water line. And this is the diagram. That's where I'm going to put the uh, this valve, the mixing valve for the hot and cold. That's where it is. This is the uh, sprayer gun. So I'm going to connect that. So I will prepare this now. So by tomorrow, by tomorrow, I'm going to drill a hole to the box of the uh, lavatory. These are the fittings. Screw. This is the uh, Teflon tape. Is for hanging the uh, bidet. This is the T connector that I will put under the uh, on this on the diagram. And the hot line that's where I'm going to put that T connector. The adapter. So now this one I can do now. I prepared this thing or I'll just do this first tomorrow so that I can rotate this oh see it can easily be rotated I can connect this now it swivels This end will go to the back side of this bidet. There. That's it. There's a yeah, there's a rubber o-ring to prevent it from leaking. How tight will do it? So you don't need a uh, wrench to do it. There. So it's now ready. And I will connect this to the. Uh, under the uh, toilet toilet container there that's where this end will go to and then yeah so this is already prepared tomorrow I will finish this okay that's it these are just extra things hopefully I can do this already yeah, cold connection. For now, I will put this cap. There's a cap provided so that you can temporarily close. That's that's a cap, so you can close this temporarily. For the this is the hotline inlet. You can close it temporarily, so we can connect now this to the uh, under the toilet next is where we'll, we will put this hanger or the bidet handle to this container 
of the blush. Did they gun sprayer? You just shoot it there. Easy. And we will put this now under here. Next is we will shut up this uh, valve. Sure, make sure uh, there's no water. We'll flow to this hose. So we'll flush it. Okay, there's no water. Next is where we will remove this fitting, the 7-8 seven, seven, fitting, and then we will replace it with the uh, with this one. Now that's the water, uh, eh, there's no more water, the valve is closed, now we can open this, but there's still some water left in this hose. So we will uh, try to catch it with this. You're sure that there is no water spilling. Oh, like all the water is dripping. Just make sure there's no that much water. Oh, you can leave it. In this bucket, we we'll attach this. Not much space. It's not much space. It's hard. I can do it. Since, it, since the gasket is rubber, you don't need to tighten it so hard. Just to make sure there's yes, no leak, is enough. Because we don't want also to damage the gasket by over tightening it. That would be good enough. We will position this hot and cold into our bottle, the mixing bottle, at least in this position, so that it's easily accessible. Now we will connect this, we will return this line. Under this mixing bottle. There. Mm, turn that. So you can see I'm going to attach this end. Let's double check the uh, gasket. That's still good. And we will return this. Make sure it's all lined up. You don't want to bust the thread and cause more damage. Cause more problem than solution. So be careful. Make sure you lined up the threads. And once it's turning, easily turns around. Now I can do one hand just to let you see. How am I tightening it? Now it's all ready. We will open the bulb. Make sure that there's no leak. This is a temporary cap I put for the uh, hotline. Tomorrow I will connect the hotline here. Because I need to drill a hole through the wall of the uh, labor laboratory table. Yeah, the laboratory box. And then now I will turn on the bulb. I hope there's nothing will leak from this. And we will turn on the valve. We must double check if there's a leak. Although you can hear the water is coming into the uh, tank, the toilet tank. There's no leak. No leak here. 
no leak on the headline and no leak also nothing is leaking so it's tight so we're sure it's good now we can try the bidet although we will test the bidet if I did it right pouring out because the valve should be open like that yeah it should be lifted up yeah, I can feel the coldness on the pipe and the tube it's a tube yeah, it's strong so you can control the valve by pressing it down until you get the right pressure Weak. A little bit. Oops, still strong. That's fine. A little bit more. That's fine. A little bit. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. That's a good thing with this mixing bulb. That's working. Turn it there. Now I'm back to continue working on this bidet connection. I'm going to connect this hot, uh, this line for the hot uh, water. To so this, three things. This is a hot line, hot water line. That's where this T connector will be. Just like that. We will remove this, but we will. I will need to. Turn off the uh, the hot water bulb so that there will be no water coming out there. Okay, now I will uh, drill the hole here, somewhere here, uh, or here, because my drill won't fit here. So I have to do it somewhere here. And then on the other side, I cannot do the drill because there's not space left for the drill to fit. So I will have to do it here. I'm going to put a tape on that area so that my whole sewing cut is clean. And then I'll do also on the other side. Somewhere here. So we will make it bigger so we will not miss the hole. I don't want to cut the hole next to the edge because this is not pure wood, it's only the M MDF wood. Now we'll drill the hole where it is. Everything will pass through there. The, the diameter of this is somehow, I measured it at 3 4 of an inch. Also, oh, now I'm going to shut off this hot water bulb. There will be no water. Pouring out, although it's hard because it's old. Yeah, now I was able to turn it. I just have to close it completely. There, it's closed now. It's closed. That's a hot one. Hot water. This is the cold line. Cold water line. Yeah, that's the uh, hot water line going up here. Sure, it's all empty. You can use this bucket to take some of the water that will come out of this hose. Now we're going to put this TP thing here. Put this 
I'm gonna set this loose there. We'll connect that end to here. Actually, I should have done that first. Anyway, it's still be done. I'm going to remove this cap for the hot line. We'll put this line in. I'm tight, will do. Unless you have a good whipping and make sure it won't leak because there's a uh, o ring, rubber o ring there. You can add a little bit of force using a wrench, adjustable wrench, small adjustable wrench. Snug, snug only so that you won't damage the o ring. There it's already. And we'll go back to this end. The hose is so long. You can roll it somewhere here. Or maybe better go up. This line here. The hot water line is not totally the valve, the gate valve didn't really close it well, but at least it's not pouring that much. It's not tight this. There's an o-ring also inside that fitting. That's fine enough. You don't want to damage the o-ring, it's only a rubber. And then this is the final fitting. It goes to the faucet, lavatory, lavatory faucet. Make sure you're all lined up so you won't ruin the thread. It's turning easily. It's not... I'll double check if there's a leak. to uh, make sure it's not leaking you will have a problem a wet problem on the floor it's all dry but I have to turn on the valve again because the water hot water line has a pressure that will prove if it's leaking or not now we will turn on the uh, hot line this access now I redo my uh, fittings I put Teflon tape you see the excess of Teflon tape outside also here all three ends I put so that there will be no leak in them because the hot water somehow there's a uh, pressure make sure it's it's all dry no wetness anymore so that's fine I will test the uh, the, the hot water when it's all connected. Right now it is set at uh, cold. I will set this bulb to the hot. This is there's a H there and also red color there for the hot indicator. And then we'll turn on to the hot water. Right now, once you pull this all the way up, this valve, that's the maximum pressure, so you have to press a little bit over. Oh, still strong. Now there's a hot water. You can feel. So just press this more down. So wait, pressure coming up. So we press this a little bit. 
nothing anymore. So move this up a little bit. Yeah, that's uh, not special. Not so strong, not so weak. And we'll put a little bit of coldness to the right. That will be look warm. A little bit of coldness. Thank you very much for watching.